There's a gaping hole in my garage at the moment because my Land Rover Defender has been stolen. I booked the car into the body shop that I always use, thinking that after about a week, the car would be ready for collection. My phone did ring after a week, but it wasn't to tell me that the car was ready. It was the poor guy from the body shop to explain that my Land Rover Defender had been stolen. The first thing anybody would do is phone the police, right? So I phoned Merseyside police, kind of expecting that they may send the helicopter up or put the blue lights on and do all of those things that the police usually do when a car gets stolen. Now I'm not here to bash Merseyside police. On a whole, they do a very very good job and I know that they've got a very tough task but in this particular instance I was left feeling very alone and as if the police just didn't really care. I knew full well that my car was on its way to being stripped down for parts or used in some sort of master crime. I felt so the police simply weren't interested in getting my car back and they were treating it as if it was something that the insurance company should just deal with. So I was left with no choice to really try and investigate it myself and now I'm no detective but with the help of a few friends, I was able to view CCTV from neighbouring buildings of, from where the car was stolen. And that ultimately led us on a little journey of where the car was taken after it had been stolen. And even better, we got a clear picture of the person driving the stolen car. So with all of this information that we've gathered in a couple of hours, I thought that the police would be more than willing to help and try and get the car back. And after a day, I still hadn't had a phone call from them. Although I had a good idea where my car was and I had a very good idea who had stolen my car, I really didn't have any evidence of this because I couldn't get access, I couldn't get a copy of the CCTV, although I could watch it, the, the, the companies that owned the footage wouldn't give it to me. This is something that the police would need to request. So I basically had a lot of possible information which really needed the police to get involved with and take a proper look into and investigate. After all, what can I do with this information other than knocking on this guy's door and asking for my car back? Through sheer perseverance and through the help of some of my friends, I was able to get my car back. I received a call late one night to say my Defender had been dumped on the roadside and I went immediately to pick it up. I knew how lucky I was to get this car back, but when I did eventually pick it up on the roadside, it was in a bit of a sorry state. The dashboard had been completely ripped out as the thieves looking for the tracker. But overall, I was just glad to be driving this car home. And as I was driving at home in the dark with no lights and with a missing license plate and no speedometer and all those other things, there was a flurry of blue lights behind me. And then the first time in two days, this was an officer getting involved in my stolen car. The officer pulled me over and asked me why I was driving in the dark and where my license plate was and all the rest of it. And I explained the entire situation to him. Now in the car, after I'd picked it up, there were a few bottles that weren't mine. My cars are very clean and there were fingerprints on the sunroof which I know weren't there before it was stolen. So I thought this officer may want to impound the car to dust it down for prints and to do all that DNA stuff that they do on the telly. And when I asked the question, the officer gave a response which pretty much summarises my entire experience of having a car stolen. He said something along the lines of, yeah, there's no point, you should be glad you got it back, which I was. But I was also very disappointed in the way in which Merseyside Police handled this and I felt very, very let down by them. So that was a strange couple of days and I know how lucky I am to get this car back.